look is gonna be a green look and I got inspired and I haven't done a makeup tutorial in about a week now because I wasn't you know inspired and I just didn't want to put out a look you know just to put it out I actually like to be inspired when I'm creating a makeup look and I like to fall in love with it and my creation in my head and then I put it all together and I just love it so I wanted to share with you all this look it's perfect for like uh, St. Patrick's Day or um, maybe just for those of you that really love wearing green it kind of creates like a smoky eye but it's really using a different method so I hope that you all find this helpful and stick around I'll show you all the steps on how to achieve this makeup look I'm going to start off by taking my primer. I'm using Max Painterly Paint Pot and applying it all over my lid and a little bit under the eye. This will help the eyeshadow adhere to the skin a little bit better and it won't crease and it'll last throughout the day. I'm then going to be taking a detailed brush here. It's fluffy but at the same time it's not extremely fluffy. And I'll be placing a green color right on the outer corner of my eye and then bringing all the way in to the inner part of my eye and I'm not really touching the center of my lid. I'm going to go ahead and continue applying a little bit more color. If you want a little bit more intensity or if you want it um, a little bit lighter, you can play around with it. And I'm just focusing right past the crease and the inner and outer corners. And I'm making sure that I blend it out nicely until I create the intensity that I like. This green color is really beautiful because it has shimmer undertone and it just looks gorgeous. Taking a mini brush and applying this dark color on the inner part of the eye, it almost has like an emerald undertone. It's really beautiful. I'm going to only focus on the inner part and the outer part of my eyes, applying the dark colors, just like that. I'm going to go ahead and move on, apply it on the outer one third of your eye. And you really don't want to place it right on the crease unless you'd prefer that look. But I'm going to leave the crease alone and then just focus on the outer corners. And blend it out. Try not to be too heavy handed otherwise you can create a mess. Then take a crease brush and with whatever is already on it I'm just going to go ahead and blend this out in case I have any harsh lines with the darker color. You want to just blend 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 so that you have a flawless look. Taking the other side of my mini fluff brush, I'm applying a gold pigment right on the center of my lid. Now, you can go back and touch up if you do overlap some of the other colors. It's a little bit harder working with pigments and um, you will get a little bit of that gold color um, over the other eyeshadows, but you can always go back and touch up again. This gold color will really help your eyes pop. Be sure to go back and touch up. I'm taking a large eyeshadow brush and placing a matte white eyeshadow as my highlight. Just make sure it's nicely blended. Now I'm placing a black eyeliner right on my waterline and I'm making sure that I take this all the way to my upper waterline and then just focusing on the waterline alone. Now placing an emerald color right on my lower lash line. And I'm just making sure I get right in between those lashes so that you don't see any skin. We're going to go back and blend so don't worry about it being too perfect. I'm also going to be placing a little bit of that color on my upper lash line. Now I'm taking that green eyeshadow with my 219 brush and I'm blending it out just so that it sets. Otherwise it can crease. So you can apply this to the intensity that you like. I like it a little more dramatic so I am applying a generous amount. Now this next step is optional, but I'm applying a MAC glitter right under my eyes just to make my eyes sparkle. This glitter is really hot right now, so definitely give it a try, you might end up loving it. I'm finally finished with the look. Next, I'm going to be applying my false eyelashes, mascara, and lipstick. I will see you in a bit. Alright everybody, so I'm back. I've already applied my false eyelashes, my mascara, and all that good stuff. This is the final look. I really ended up loving it. I love that the glitter is very subtle and it makes the eyes really sparkle. So I hope that y'all enjoyed it as much as I did. And I will see y'all very soon with more makeup tutorials. Take care, be safe, and I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye.